I'm doing something just a little bit different this morning and hey welcome back to the video <clears throat> I am just coming down the hill and if you recognize this town there's here in Bay Co-op we are we're gonna come up to Sullivan's butcher shop here uh, yeah there's Sullivan's right there anyway I'm in downtown Wyerton just coming off the Bruce Peninsula in Bruce County and I'm on a mission this morning to uh, this is a little bit different video than what I usually do and I haven't done this in I've never done a video like this one before but we're going to look at a piece of equipment and I love equipment so we'll see how this goes and I'm here and I have all my friends with me as you can see <laughs> it's uh, minus four degrees snowing a little bit and uh, as I make my way through downtown Wyerton busy for a today's Friday the 13th lucky day <clears throat> anyway I thought <clears throat> I got a frog there I thought this would be a, something a little bit different for the channel. It's hard, and I haven't done many videos. I was uh, kind of took a break at Christmas time. I was sick for 10 days, and then I had a, a little tumble. I fell off the tractor, and I haven't really been in the mood to do a video since, but I'm kind of back on the mend. Anyway... I'll see how this goes I'll bring you back when we get closer to the dealership well we're heading into town and we are approaching the city of Chatsworth Chatsworth Ontario Chatsworth if, if you don't know is a small town in the wilds of Gray County and uh, I have a lot of I've been up here many times in uh, not recently. 300 meters, your destination is on your left. Not recently, but anyway. Where I'm heading today, and it's just around the corner. In here. 150 meters, your destination is on your left. You have reached your destination on your left. I used uh, my. Uh, mapping system in the truck to get here and it did save me it uh, bypassed a, a few towns and it's a great thing to do it took me on a road that I'd never been on before County Road 16 and uh, it's a great shortcut to get here Anyway, my destination is just up here on the right, I believe. On the edge of town, there's Legion. So when I get here, I'm going to go in and see if it's okay that I can video. I'm sure it will be. But I always like to ask. Anyway... Yes, this is it. <clears throat> and I know some of the guys with uh, red equipment will probably be turning my channel off at this time. But anyway, if not, you can come and see some good iron. <laughs> they got a few lawnmowers. Just a few. Anyway, we're here at uh, Heron Tractor in Chatsworth, Ontario. It's a little nasty out here, but anyway, this is what I come to look at. It's a 324K. It's got uh, 3,400 hours on it. We're looking for a little loader. I'm not sure whether this is the one or not, but anyway. 
<clears throat> I'll get in and have a peek. They were kind enough to turn the heat on. Yeah, 3,492 hours. anyway got lots of grease on the fittings so they weren't at least they weren't afraid to use a grease gun anyway they're sending somebody out to show me how to run this thing the parking brake so I don't know where that is so I had Craig from the um, maintenance department come out and show me where all the controls are on this thing. And uh, he's very knowledgeable. So I'm just taking it for a little spin around. I don't know what to think about this thing. amount of iron in the yard there is a bit of getting used to this thing they have a, a fancy three-way blade on the front which would be great up here for pushing snow and it that's what it is is a HLA snow blade one thing I did notice with this thing, it, it has uh, lots of cheat sheets. There's a cheat sheet here for the joystick and all the hydraulics. <clears throat> On the window, there's a cheat sheet that tells you about all the functions of all the buttons, and there's a lot of buttons in this thing. All these buttons are on the control. It has air conditioning heat, air conditioning. Anyway, that's about it. This machine is, uh, like I say, it's used, but it's, I don't think it's maybe what we want. It's, I think it's a little big to go in amongst the posts. But, We'll try it and see maybe someday. So I'll do one more walk around. These doors, they swing around a long ways. I don't know. Cute little machine. Yeah, I was just on my way back to the cottage and I actually stopped in here at uh, um, Elmer's Flighting in, in downtown Allenford and I see they've got a 324L and uh, I just thought I would uh, run around it too it's been around here for a long time they uh, use it for unloading augers and whatnot I just thought when I was going by and sitting outside I was in and had a little chin wag with Todd Todd, if you've watched our channel at all, Todd has been on, uh, I think, three or four videos a couple years ago. So, uh, he's busy on the phone in there. I had a little chat with him, but I just thought when the 324 is sitting out here, I would just walk around it. They have uh, a set of forks on it and uh, also got a snow blade. Up here in the wilds, uh, we're in the wilds of uh, Bruce County pushing snow that's like uh that's like the main job up here in the winter although this year they kind of had a reprieve but anyway i thought i would catch that while i was going by yeah i just thought i'd end this video i'm up here today it's uh minus 12 degrees in uh beautiful pike bay ontario 
and I just wanted to show show our two colors up here at the cottage just to show that in true following with the same colors that we have at home we have this John Deere TRS 26 snowblower and that's an oldie I'll tell you John Deere hasn't made those for quite a while and we have that up here for blowing snow to clear the driveway which this year I guess we've only used it once anyway I want to thank you for watching it was kind of a fun day going and looking at that machinery I don't know what we'll end up doing but anyway I'll catch you on the next one